Namaste everyone, welcome to this channel ER.pedia. I am getting good response and queries. Thank you everyone for this immense love. So I feel it is my responsibility to solve your problems. This is the first video of quiz and answer session. In this video I am going to solve the query shown by the Oxford Sai. It is about the combo box. It is asking about how to get list index name on combo box. Furthermore, I am going to add a little bit spices on the video and teach you about how to load web table in Excel file. Now without any delay, let's get dive into the video. In order to load the table from the web, first you have to uh, know uh, in which URL your table exists. I am going to load the list of countries and I want to load this table in my Excel file. So I need to copy this URL here. Now go to your Excel file. In your data, uh, click this new query from other sources. Click on this uh, from other sources and click on this from web. It takes a little bit time to load. Now paste the URL here. Click on this OK. It is taking time. It will display the preview in this section. Here, click on this table. Your preview is loaded. Now, click on this load. Your data will all will be copied in your Excel sheet. Now, this is your total data. Now I want to make the dynamic name range uh, for this country list. So in order to create the dynamic name range, I have to go to this formula and here click on this name manager. I have already told you about how to create the dynamic name range in the last video. Now in order to create the dynamic name range, first you have to click on this new year and give the name of the dynamic name range I am writing the name is country here we make it our dynamic range by using offset in the counter functions type here offset select the reference item this is my reference now whether I want to move my rows yes of course I want to move my rows so I have to write here one then I don't want to move my column so type here 0 here I use a count a functions in order to make a range variable here now I'll type here this is my name range yes. now close this I don't want the heading part in my dynamic list so I'll write here minus 1 keep comma and type 1 close this click on this ok this is the country now remember this name now we'll write in the row source uh, now I have to create the combo box here so go to the developer visual basic and in the visual basic go to this insert and click the user form increase the size of this user form here I need the combo box I'll click this combo box and create the combo box here now I want to make the another combo box here this combo box I'll give the name range to this combo box to here in the row source I have to type the same name that I have created in the name manager now run this code and you will see here the list of country now I want the list index name in this part so in order to create the list index name now first double click on this user form here in the user form click on this initialize in the initialize uh, we have to give the 
yeah, combo box value v dot uh, this is a combo box in our combo box we are giving the combo box value yes uh, value equals and to give the select country now in terms we give the rgb value to the combo box to four color and we give the four color is rgb 217 now when you run this code you will see now we can also increase the font size in order to increase the font size click on this font here now increase the font size to 12 click on this font When you run this code and select country now when uh, we are this all our data is showing in the same color we uh, which we are given in our initialized part we want this color to, to be uh, more dark so that it can be easily seen yes uh, we want this color to be black yes uh, the RG value of black color is 0 now in order to do that we have to double click on this and the combo box change we want to enter click on this enter when you enter the combo box then our RGB value we want our RGB value to be changed and our the select country should be removed so that click this two part here first i will give the if statement if thus if me dot combo box to dot value equals select country then i'll close the if statement here then i want the me dot combo box value equals mg and when you if there is select country uh, when you are entering in the combo box then we want our combo box to be combo box value to be empty and we give the rgb value is black the rgb value of black color is 0, 0, 0. now again copy this and we have to give another validation this part when you exit from our combo box just copy this in, in here type exit now paste the value here now when this value is empty then we want our select select country to be display and our rgb value is 217 paste here now this is the coding run this code now when you select the country you can easily see and when you read the name of the country select country will display again i have i have answered the query of uh, mr akshut sai if not let me know hope you all are enjoying my videos if you haven't subscribed my channel you subscribe it and click the bell icon so that you will get notified with my latest uploaded video 
Thank you everyone for watching my videos. See you on the next video.